Hey guys, I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks, and today we're taking a look at the latest release uh, from the fine guys of Cyanogen Mod team. That means there's a new CM10 Nightly build out there, and I've been installing it on my uh, Galaxy Nexus over here. So this is based on uh, Android Jelly Bean, while my Samsung Galaxy S2 is still running the Cyanogen Mod 9, which is based on Ice Cream Sandwich. And I would like to show you a little bit um, about the differences and about the performance of it. So check it out. Okay, so here we are. Um, freshly installed uh, CM10, the nightly build. It just got released like seven, eight hours ago. And uh, I've been exchanging my stock Jelly Bean ROM that was 4.1.1 um, with this one here. Let's take a quick look at the settings. Oh, wait. I mean, of course, we can also access the settings over here. And let's go down to about phone, and here we go. There you can see it. Um, Cyanogen mod. Oh, there it is. No, uh, Ten. Or maybe I should zoom in a little bit. I think that would help. <laughs> here we go. There it is. And um, this one is still running. The Cyanogen mod nine. And you know what? Oh, not so many huge differences. Uh, comes with, oh gosh, I can't see anything over here because I had to turn the brightness down. So otherwise, uh, we've had some real issues here with the autofocus. Here we go. Maybe that's that's really a, a matter of the Super AMOLED display. It's kind of hard to phone them. Um, so here we go, that's Cyanogen Mod 9. Um, also a nightly build, but I'm using it on the S2 for about, I don't know, two months, three months, and it's definitely um, a ROM that you can use uh, on an everyday base. Um, let me show you a little bit about the performance because we all know the Project Butter on uh, Jelly Bean is just absolutely fantastic and I loved my stock ROM. So I was a little bit worried if I should really go for the Sega Engine mod, especially because it's not a stable version, it's just nightly built, but you know what, we have to enough devices so we can just try it out. Um, what I realized um, by swiping uh, all over the home screen, opening a, a bunch of apps is, you know, maybe this is just me and very subjective, but it feels a little bit slower than the stock ROM. I don't know why, and uh, you can't see it, for example, when you're just opening uh, a bunch of folders over here, this definitely looks like um, it's nice on these nice Project Butter um, animations that we know from the stock ROM that we also saw on the Nexus 7 tablet. So, but I've, I've opened a bunch of anima uh, a bunch of applications, and then I tried to go back to the home screen, and then yeah, it was a, felt a little bit I wouldn't say sluggish, right? But it was stuttering for a millisecond. And uh, but besides that, as you can see, you know, when I'm uh, in this app overview and I'm opening apps, they are just opening right away, and also. Let me just go back when I'm coming over here uh, to the widgets. All right, and let me just take a widget, try to place it on one of these home screens. There we go. This is definitely very smooth, right? Okay, let's do this. Okay, that works. Um, so, what's different compared to um, the Cyanogen Mod 9 and the Ice Cream Sandwich version? Well, first of all, this one comes with um, Google Now. Here we go. Google. Show me pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge at sunrise. It worked. And I'm not sure if this kind of stuttering animation is a matter of um, Google Now or Jelly Bean, or of the CM10. I mean, you saw this right now, right? Or is it just a matter of how it's kind of fetching the data from the internet and trying to display it, right? But still, um, this is something that I've been uh, seeing on, on, on this Cyan Engine Mod 10 definitely more often than on the Jelly Bean, uh, on the original Jelly Bean stock ROM. Let's take a quick look at the settings, if there are any differences right now. Oh, by the way, the lock screen, let me show you this. Um, 
it's pretty much the same as on, on CM10. Well, not pretty much the same. It is the same. You can also show um, the latest weather over here and um, the, your battery status. And of course, you can also access Google now from here. Google, show me the Cyanogen Mod homepage. Well, almost, almost. <laughs> it shows me the latest um, thread on the XDA developers forums. Um, let's, let's go back to the settings and let's see if we can find any differences compared to the CM9. Okay, and over here we have the CM9. Let's go in there. Uh, settings, here we go. Okay, we're you can definitely tell that there is a difference uh, in terms of these displays. I don't know if it's, it's just a matter of um, the ROM, but I no, I would say this is a matter of a display. Um, this is a, a Super AMOLED uh, Plus display, and this is a Super AMOLED HD display. And you know, can you see how black this is here? Uh, that looks definitely different. Okay, let's just check it out. Um, you can tell that here in the interface for the Cyanogen mod we have this uh, additional lock screen menu and I think they've been squeezing this one in to the, let me see, themes or maybe system. There you go. So it went from the system menu into the uh, interface menu. Um, are there any differences here? Launcher, home screen, drawer, general, that's pretty much the same. Um, it's, it's also the trebuchet. This is the 0.2 version here on the CM10. Um, what about themes? Oops, that was system, sorry. Uh, okay, that's the first time we're now getting a kind of theme support, right? So um, maybe we're gonna see um, some future themes popping up on the web for CyanogenMod Mod 10, which would be really nice for people who want to have a more customized uh, look and feel of their Android. Okay, what's left? System. Oh yeah, I mean, we checked it already. All notification drawer, wallpaper, font size. Um, and here's something new. It's the power menu, right? So you have a reboot menu. You can do screenshots, right? And you can switch your profiles. So this is Basically, if you're pressing the power button, so right now I can take a screenshot. There you go, and it works. That's kind of nice. And let's see if this also gets squeezed into the notification bar. Okay, that works. So that's definitely different here compared to CM9. What else is on here? Let's go back. Here we go. Okay. Okay, when we're scrolling and you're comparing this to the CM9, you, you can definitely tell this looks smoother here on the CM10. Look at this. Huh? I mean, this should be the Project Butter animation that they just brought uh, to the app level, and it definitely works. Um, anything else different here? Let's go all the way down here. Dog data? No, that's about it, right? So, um, quite some improvements. Uh, in terms of features for CM10, that means we have now the screenshot tool, the power menu, and uh, we finally have a menu for themes where we are going to get the future themes and skins and whatnot. You know, whole packages. You know, I'm, I'm really excited to see uh, what these uh, developers from San Jimot are coming up with. Um, you know what? And, and that's it basically, right? Uh, this is a, a pure. Android jelly bean experience and um, with a little twist in terms of these features from Cyanogen Mod 9 plus these additional features of Cyanogen Mod 10, just as I said, the power menu, screenshots, themes, and um, slightly performance improvement. But again, 
Keep in mind, this is a nightly build. I mean, I'm here on our 3G network and it works without any problems, but you never know, right? I've been using it just for some two or three hours right now, but I will definitely keep you updated as soon as there are any changes or if there's a, a new stable version coming out. So that was a quick comparison between uh, CyanogenMod Mod 10 on the Galaxy Nexus and CyanogenMod Mod 9 on the Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.